Hydromorphine Computers here and today I'm going to show you how to change this uh, the jet plate on your CPU water block. Today this is a EK Supremacy CPU motherboard water block. Well not motherboard but CPU water block. Okay, when you open up the box, this comes with all the tools and hardware that you need to assemble it to your your motherboard. Back plate. Instructions. Yeah. And here we have the water block. Okay, so let's open this up. These are the two jet plates that it comes with. One is for 11.55. Well, it's uh, better for 11.55 processors. And the other one is for a 2011 processor. As you can see, there's a difference in thickness. and the difference in the opening. Okay, well first things first is we need to take off the corners of this protective layer. Don't want to take it off all the way. This is to help prevent from scratching. And they come out pretty easy with the Allen key wrench provided. That's what it looks like underneath. Gotta be careful of all these little fins in here. Don't want to damage any of those. That's what causes the heat dissipation into the liquid or fluid, whatever you're running. This is the stock jet plate that they have in there already. This is what we're going to get rid of. We're going to change it out to a 2011. Now you want to be careful with these O-rings because they do come out just like that. And that's to help seal everything in there so that you don't get any leaks. Okay, what you want to do is you want to match these corners, see the indentions inside on the corners, on all four corners, with the 
lifted tab that they have here in the corners that is what locks it in place and keeps it from sliding any everywhere and once you have it in place just grab your your uh, bottom plate and be careful how you position this you want the fins to run sideways with the jet plate see so this way you want the fins to run this way back and forth not up and down with the jet plate put it on just match up the screw holes and screw it in Be careful not to tighten one side too much. Because as you're tightening it, you want to be sure to have even even pressure over all four corners. So now I'm just going to tighten this side a little bit. Move on to the next one. As you can see, I'm not tightening. I'm tightening the ones across from each other. All right, let's just get a little bit more. You don't want to over tighten it either, though, because you can strip the threads. Right, and that is how you place the water jets or well the jet plates on an EK Supremacy CPU water block. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and uh, tune in next time for more videos.